Hi friends, welcome to Plexus Ortho. My name is Dr. Kanan Kumar and today we are going to discuss one of the MCQs that we put up a couple of days ago in the um, Telegram channel. It was MCQ number 239. So the MCQ was binds to rank ligand and prevents osteoclastic differentiation. This description of is a which of the following entities right so this is a description of which of the following entities so is it osteocalcin no osteonectin no tgf beta no the correct answer to this question is osteoprotegrin let us understand why the answer to this question is osteoprotegrin right so rank ligand and bone uh, metabolism is interlinked so therefore bone formation and bone resorption is uh, um, manipulated by the rank ligand osteoprotegrin mechanism so you must understand this very clearly this concept must be very clearly understood because this question could be asked anywhere and it's a very factual question and if you get it right you get the uh, full marks for the question right so therefore uh, we have two processes in the bone uh, remodeling process one is in the one is the bone formation the second one is the bone resorption right uh, bone formation is stimulated or done by the osteoblasts, right? And bone resorption is done by osteoclasts. So osteoblasts help in bone formation and osteoclasts help in bone resorption, right? So osteoblasts uh, appear, uh, arise from the mesenchymal stem cell, their mesenchymal origin, whereas osteoclasts are from macrophage lineage origin right this you must also remember macrophage lineage macrophage monocyte lineage okay which enzyme is very specific for osteoblast alkaline phosphatase so you can look for a marker like alkaline phosphatase in the saline or in the serum right so alkaline phosphatase can be looked for and this will indicate uh, osteoblastic activity osteoblastic activity so in brief how do the, the how is there an interplay between osteoblast and osteoclast <coughs> So osteoblast uh, releases what is called as a rank ligand because of stimulation or because of various factors acting on the osteoblast, they release what is called as a rank ligand. So the rank ligand attaches to the rank on the osteoclast. So this multinucleated cell is osteoclast, right? So the rank ligand released by the osteoblast goes and attaches on the rank on the osteoclast and then it activates the osteoclast, right? Uh, forms this uh, increase in the border for created appearance then it, this is called as how ships like in a, what is it called how ships like in a, these images may be shown in your exam it's called how ships like in a, right and then it produces an enzyme what enzyme it's called top tartrate resistant acid phosphatase tartrate resistant acid phosphatase which starts absorbing and eating into the bone and this is called the bone resorption phase of the um, remodeling process of the bone Right. So what are the process? What is the rank ligand? Rank ligand is released by the osteoblast through various uh, stimulants. Like for example, parathyroid hormone acts on osteoblast for the release of rank, rank ligand. This goes and uh, binds on the rank and then stimulates the osteoclast and then bone resorption occurs. Okay. So now what is the role of osteoprotegrin? OPG or osteoprotegrin? Osteoprotegrin is a decoy receptor. Remember this term. It's a decoy receptor that is produced by the osteoblast again. So rank ligand is also produced by the osteoblast. Osteoprotegrin or the decoy receptor is also produced by the osteoclast. It binds to the uh, rank ligand. Osteoprotegrin binds to the rank ligand, prevents its insertion or attachment to the rank and therefore uh, prevents osteoclast activation. So therefore there's less bone resorption, more bone formation, right? The cycle is disrupted. Always there is some bone uh, formation, then bone resorption. If the bone absorption is maintained, bone resorption falls. Therefore the uh, bone formation increases and therefore the cycle is disrupted. So osteoprotegrin is a decoy receptor which attaches to the rank ligand and therefore prevents the rank ligand attachment to the osteoclast. So these are three terms which you have learned today. The rank, ligand, rank and osteoprotegrin. Rank ligand and osteoprotegrin are released from the osteoblast. Rank ligand inserts onto the rank of the osteoclast whereas the osteoprotegrin inserts on the rank ligand uh, and sequesters prevents attachment to the rank on the Osteoclast. So we must understand this very clearly. This is called the rank, rank ligand, osteoprotegrin bone signaling pathway. This is very important for understanding bone metabolism, right? Now we know there are, uh, there are various ways in which the rank ligand can be stimulated from the uh, osteoblast, right? Paratha hormone, PTH increases rank ligand, estrogen 
estrogen what do you think estrogen does to the rank ligand it will decrease it because estrogen protects both men and women uh, and maintains the bone mass bone mass therefore estrogen decreases rank ligand activity right in from the osteoblast so do we all know a drug called as denosumab what does denosumab do denosumab is a monoclonal antibody which binds to the rank ligand that is inserted that is released from the osteoblast denosumab is a is used for is a second or a third line drug used for osteoporosis what is the first line drug is bisphosphonates which is can then the second line drug is teriparatides can be used even if that does not work we can use one of these monoclonal antibodies called as denosumab you can also use anti sclerostin antibodies right uh, so therefore uh, denosumab function is basically it it blocks or sequesters or binds to the rank ligand prevents its attachment to the rank on the osteoblast and therefore decreases osteoblast activity and therefore increases bone formation and bone density okay so denosumab is a new drug which is used it is used in the subcutaneous form it is used once in 6 months so it is a very patient compliant drug okay denosumab is has been asked previously in your exam and can be asked in the future as well right so let us see what are the things that inhibit bone uh, resorption now bone why is osteoprotein inhibit bone resorption it binds to the rank ligand sequest is it prevents its attachment to rank ligand attachment to the osteoclast and therefore decreases bone resorption calcitonin uh, decreases bone resorption by increasing osteoblastic activity estrogen decreases rank ligand release from the estrogen decreases rank rank ligand release from the osteoblast and therefore increases bone formation tgf beta also decreases rank ligand and this pathway is affected and therefore there is increased bone formation so there are various factors that we have interplay in bone resorption but the main theme of this is that inhibition of the rank ligand pathway is what inhibits osteoclast activity and therefore increases bone resorption you must remember this very well happen osteoporosis can happen in cases of uh, opg gene problem because opg is ineffective if there is a deficiency in the opg gene it fails to act on the rank ligand there is increased activity in the rank ligand and there is increased bone resorption in osteoporosis and also osteopetrosis all of us know that uh, it is also called as marble bone disease right marble bone disease that is there is increased sclerosis and this can happen because there is over activity of the over activity of the uh, bone formation and less bone resorption okay so this can happen in various problems in the bone signaling pathway right you know pagets disease pagets disease is a mismatch in the bone absorption and resorption over a period of time it becomes a major issue this can also this can also happen because of problems in the bone signaling pathway we also have osteolysis and metastasis this is a, an often asked question right why does osteolysis occur in metastasis it occurs because the rank ligand is released by the cancer cells rank ligand itself is released by the cancer cells which goes and activates the osteoclast and therefore causes the uh, osteo uh, osteolytic lesions right so rank ligand released from the cancer cells directly cause osteolysis and metastasis so if they ask a question in the exam what causes osteolysis it is a rank ligand release it is not rank rank receptor is on the osteoclast right so rank ligand not osteoprotein osteoprotein will decrease uh, lytic lesion it is rank ligand released from the cancer cells directly which attach on the osteoclast and cause bone resorption or lysis right the same thing happens in joint replacement when we do a joint replacement for example if this is the neck of the femur right and then when the joint or the head is replaced there is a lytic lesion all around it and this happens because of this happens because of rank ligand pathway again so osteolysis if they ask if what happens in cancer cases osteolysis and in cases of joint replacement the cause of the problem is rank ligand okay so to briefly recap what we have what have we gone through today we have gone through the uh, rank ligand pathway in bone signaling what causes uh, or decreases inhibits rank ligand and sequesters it the answer is osteoprotein okay so you must know the action of each of these rank ligand rank and osteoprotein rank ligand is released by the osteoblast attaches to the osteoclast on rank receptor and then in, uh, increases bone resorption osteoprotein is also released by the osteoblast sequesters the wrong rank ligand prevents osteoclastic activity and increases bone uh, uh, formation because it inhibits bone resorption right so you must also know the clinical implications including including the drug denosumab including osteolysis that occurs during the cancer and joint replacement so these are all very frequently asked questions i hope you have got a gist of what uh, uh, the question and the signaling pathway um, is all about so my name is dr kanan kumar and this is plexus hector thank you very much